this one no it's gonna be a no for me sadly this is the one that i definitely recommend you your personal color if you have sensitive skin hey guys welcome to a new video if you're new here i'm a skincare chemist and we chat about skincare beauty all things skincare consider me your beauty skincare big sister so i'm going to tell you right now you're missing out go ahead and like follow the channel subscribe to the channel because we're all about skincare and beauty here and you want to be part of the conversation okay tell your friends and family too while you're at it okay all right so today's video you guys can tell we're going to be talking about these two toners right here the ren steady glue aj tonic and the ordinary glycolic aj toning solution and as a person of color people always ask me what do you think about this product what do you think about that product which one is better we're just going to kind of dissect both products you know i'm going to tell you guys which one i think i'm sure you guys will probably figure it out as we talk about both of them but we're going to talk about both of them and i'm going to tell you guys which one i like better for poc this first one from the ordinary you guys already know it went viral like pandemic era like everybody and their mom had this in their skincare countertop like it was popular okay the internet blew it up Hiram era y'all know where it was the egg girl but you guys know it has seven percent glycolic acid it has a ph of 3.6 which is pretty typical for toners toners are meant to bring down your skin ph a lot of cleansers actually raise your skin ph to an alkaline level so toners help to bring it back to kind of a normal level you know what's crazy actually before we get into the ingredients i looked at the video i made two years ago on this product you can check it out right here I compared it with the pixie glue tonic in that video this product was eight dollars and seventy cents guess how much i got it for recently Thirteen dollars, y'all. Thirteen dollars. Why did it rise by almost five dollars two years later? It's insane. Inflation is literally killing. It's it's kicking our asses, you guys. And it's I can't even deal. Anyways, back to this product. So this product has seven percent glycolic acid, which is one of the most invigorating AHAs. It has really small molecules, and what that means is it easily penetrates into the skin cells. And if your skin is sensitive right now, I'll tell you, please do not use this product. You have to have tough skin to be able to handle this product. I personally use it on my sensitive skin, and my my skin was not happy with it i had to calm it down like it was not fun okay i did not enjoy using this product my skin felt like it was on fire like in multiple places instant regret after using it I actually bought it for a different purpose I actually bought it to try using on my dark knees but I got a different product for that, so I don't know if I'm even gonna get to use this product. I really wanted to love it, but my skin was was not having it. I think if your skin can handle it, I think you should go for it. My skin is just more on the sensitive side for the most part, so my skin just, it's not gonna happen. If you do decide to use this product, make sure you are using sunscreen because this product will make your skin very sensitive to the sun and it will cause sun damage, okay? I'm telling you right now, it will cause sun damage. It also has aloe in it, which could be soothing. I didn't find it soothing personally. I wish maybe they need to put more aloe in it. Just personally for me, I would say to know but not a bad product if you're dealing with intense like whiteheads and you kind of need to resurface your skin or to help resurface that skin or to help to beat out dark spots and retexturize the skin all right let's move on now this one is an aha tonic as well but the aha in here is lactic acid and i've talked about all the ahs i've talked about it in a video up here and it's an older video but it's still very formative lactic acid is a step down from glycolic acid it has a little bit more bigger molecules and it doesn't penetrate the skin cells as quickly as glycolic so it's a lot milder especially on people of color it's a lot gentler it's not as harsh and I love that for us right it has 4.5% lactic acid so not as high as the one from the ordinary it also has a pH between 3 and 4 so still on that low skill to really bring back your skin pH and I personally found it very hydrating I personally actually love the dropper on this one a little bit better and I wish that the dropper was a little different because I feel like this kind of just squirts out everywhere when you use it but it still doesn't deter me from picking it as you guys can tell spoiler alert I do like this one a lot better because it's so gentle it also has azelaic acid to help really refine that skin as well as BHA to really help unclog the pores and prevent any potential acne from forming I mean you guys can already tell I love this product very hydrating it just really feels really amazing on the skin like it, the ordinary wasn't doing nothing for my skin I, my skin still felt like sticky and dry but this one skin felt like it was moisturized and i i love that for me so without question i clearly picked this one because it just feels so much better on the skin this one no i would say it's gonna be a no for me sadly this is the one that i definitely recommend if you're a personal color if you have sensitive skin and if you've used this product please let me know in the comments below because i don't know how you liked it my skin is like uh-uh it's not gonna happen today okay but this product is definitely a really really awesome product i think ren really did a wonderful formulation here and yeah i really want to know you guys' thoughts on either of these products which one have you tried which one are you wanting to try are you looking for a new toner are you in the market if you are i definitely recommend starting with this one but if you want to go for it and really get in there and uh, go for something a lot stronger then go for it but either way whichever products you choose definitely make sure you're following up with the sunscreen because if that skin is not protected from the sun you're gonna have a lot of problems okay 
But yeah, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave me a thumbs up. It really helps out with the algorithm. It helps you get to see amazing videos like this. And it also helps to bring more beauty lovers to join the family. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. to say